first of these two short films, I explained how all councils are being squeezed by rising cost and underfunding from government. This has been the case for many years, and South Lanarkshire Council has already had to save more than £142 million pounds since 2013-14. In doing that, we have squeezed every possible efficiency out of what we do. But there's been no fat left for some time. We are now down to the bone. This is not a situation that anyone wants to be in. South Lanarkshire Council is a high-performing council. And we're proud of the work we do with and for our communities. We deeply regret that financial challenges outside of our control are putting that good work at risk. The Scottish Government has now told us the money they give to councils won't rise for three years, even though the costs of delivering services are up hugely. The Government funds 77% of our income, and that means the budget gap being projected for the next few years is going to get even bigger. In the next two financial years alone, the Council will need to find ways to cut £70.6 million. That will have drastic consequences. Put simply, we no longer have the funding available for the same number and level of services we have provided in previous years. This means we face some awful decisions about what we can afford to do. This will mean deciding what services can be adapted or cut so they cost less. It may also mean deciding what services we have to stop providing at all. We will always have statutory duties and our starting point must be how we fulfil them to the best of our abilities. Vital duties like providing school education and certain social work services, but we are going to have to consider cuts there and elsewhere that would previously have been unthinkable. We simply have no choice. My pledge is that we will make the best decisions we can and that we will do everything we can to protect the vulnerable and key frontline services. I invite you all to help us make those decisions by taking part in our public consultation on the Council's budget for 24-25. There are no easy options or answers, but you can tell us what is most important to you and we will listen.